Hello and welcome back to a new video. Today I have this for you. It is a hexadecimal carry cancel adder. It can handle two bytes and add them together. Yeah, this is just a quick showcase video. I will at least I plan on <laughs> making a tutorial as well as an explanation video with a world download and I want to upload that within the next week. So you can look forward to that. Right now I just want to show you that this thing works. So what addition do we have to test with adders? 5 plus 3. But yeah this is not really that impressive if it does that because 5 and 3 in hexadecimal you can just see this here. On the right side of the screen it says power 3, and there it says power 5, so this is 5 plus 3. And we get the output of 8 lamps that are on. This is 8. This adder takes 9 redstone ticks or 18 game ticks for one calculation, and you can uh, clock it at a frequency of 4 Hz. So every 5 game ticks you can input a new number or new numbers to add. Of course this can not only add but also subtract using like what is it called? 16's complement I guess. Let's just show you FFFF which is like all these lamps are on, plus carry in. To show you it's synchronized, of course, redstone lamps take a little longer to turn off than to turn on, but other than that, it's completely synchronized. It also works if we add one down here, like this. That also gives us one zero 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 zero. So what other calculations could we test this on? Let's try all inputs on maximum. So FFFF plus FFFF plus carry in is all outputs on. So 1FFFF, which is also correct. So let's try one last test, which I'm going to choose to be D, E, A, D, plus C, 0, D, E. So we have D, E, A, D, plus C O as zero D E and we should get one nine F eight B. Let's see what we got. We got one nine F eight B. B. What did I say? Why does this look like C? We have 14 plus 13. Ah, oh, we still have the carry on. Yeah, you should of course turn that off when trying to do a normal calculation. So, if you actually put in the right inputs for what you want to calculate, you also get the right outputs. That's all I have to show for now. If you want to see how to build it, just be patient for a few days and I will put out a tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.